CBLT is an Ontario company in the business of exploring for and developing cobalt projects. We've changed the name of the company to reflect that business development in cobalt. 60% of the world's supply comes from the Congo that has suffered a terrible war since 1998. Over 6 million people have died in the Congo since then. It's called Africa's War. As a result of the war, there's human suffering, uh, disease, Ebola's been uh, on the outbreak, political corruption, instability, and all of this puts a massive stress on the supply chain. At the same time, the demand for cobalt is skyrocketing because cobalt is a necessary element in a lithium ion battery. For example, in your cell phone, 60% of the weight of the battery is cobalt, not lithium. If you like lithium, you have to love cobalt. We expect to have our technical team in the field on at least three of our projects. We have our leading project in world famous Sudbury, Ontario, which we drilled last year and found gold and cobalt throughout the quartz vein. It's a very unusual property. I know of no other property in the world that has gold and cobalt in a quartz vein. We will have the technical team back in Sudbury working that asset. One kilometer to the southeast is another asset that we call Dryden Cobalt. No work has been done on that yet, so we will be doing boots and hammers work there, basic prospecting 101. Our field team in Quebec wrapped up at Chilton Cobalt in late May, and we're waiting the results of that. That also was basic prospecting, plus we did a VLEF survey. We're very eager to get the results of that so we can get back into Quebec and, and finish this phase of the exploration. In Gauganda, Ontario, we have 28 square kilometers that we are going to work this summer. We have four high priority target areas that we will explore and we will then create phase two once we have the data back from phase one. It will be a very busy year for our team. There are two major growth opportunities, one macroeconomic and one micro. The macroeconomic story is of course the global shortage of cobalt. Cobalt in February of 2016 was trading at roughly $9.80 a pound on the London Metals Exchange. It recently hit $25. So we're looking at over a 270% increase in 16 months. The micro story is that we have really good assets. Not only do we have cobalt, but we appear to have gold, copper, nickel, and silver, which can be economic for the shareholders. As we explore and develop the properties, it's our goal to increase that value for the shareholders on a property-by-property -property basis. One of the industry challenges is the shortage of geologists who understand the cobalt camp in Northern Ontario. The camp has not been effectively worked on a large scale for some time, but we're lucky to have a very good team who has worked there before, who does understand it, and we're looking to capitalize on that knowledge for the benefit of the shareholders. The other problem we face is educating people on the global shortage of cobalt. Um, often when we speak to them, the first reaction is, you have to be kidding me. And as we get into the data and the facts, investors then realize that the shortage is real and that the opportunity is real. We are effective stewards of the shareholders' money. We take that responsibility very seriously. We like to spend the money that we raise in the field effectively to get good results for the shareholders. We like buying properties cheaply, working them, and then selling them at great profits for the shareholders. So our investment opportunity and the value proposition to the shareholders is to invest in, a very, in an area that's in high demand, to spend the money wisely, and to generate great returns for the shareholders. Our listing is the lifeblood of the company. Without the listing, we have no liquidity. We would not have been able to raise flow-through funds, we would not have been able to raise hard dollars, and we would not have been able to acquire the properties that we bought. Further, the exchange has great resources that they have made available to us, including being, being here on the C-suite and other resources. Uh, it, without the venture exchange, we would not be able to carry on business.